For hole two, you can use any driver, preferably the extra mile or the APOC or the Thor's hammer. You're gonna add 10% elevation to your shot. You're gonna do full top spin and full right spin or as much right spin as allowed. Adjust your shot and you can see how much overpower you can use by pulling up those rings. Um, just be careful of doing too much and going into that rough. In headwind, full overpower should be no problem. I like playing on the right side because there's less of a chance that you're going to end up in the rough. So many times I play opponents who go to the left and they're in the rough 90% of the time. For the second shot, you're going to find the slider position of your sniper. Here I played it at mid, so you just want to try and use your best judgment at what slider point your sniper is going to be in. And you're going to over adjust 20% elevation, so it's plus 20% on your app. You want to do two to three bars of backspin and some side spin to the hole. If it's a higher wind, you might try a little bit of offset, like one square to two squares of offset, offset depending on how uh, high the wind actually is. Here's the same drive with an extra mile eight. You're gonna use 10% over adjustment for your shot, full top spin, as much right spin as you can go, and you're just gonna aim down the middle of the fairway. Again, for the second shot, you're going to find the slider position of your sniper, your best judgment. Here I was at max, but not totally at max. So I played it max sniper plus 20% minus 0.3. I guesstimated on the 0.3 and it kind of worked out. You basically want to spin the ball to the hole and leave it short of the hole because it kind of comes in hot. So just make sure you do two to three bars of backspin and some side spin to the hole. And remember guys, hit perfect. Happy golfing. Hope this helps you out.